Welcome back. Lupin has announced a licensing and development agreement with Boringer for an oncology drug. The upfront payment stands at $20 million, but the potential size or the potential revenue for Lupin stands at $700 million. That's what the company has indicated to the exchanges. Amay Chalki of HDFC Securities now joins us on the phone line. Um, Amay, do you think Lupin will be able to realize this entire $700 million of opportunity uh, over how many years do you think it will happen? And if you look at the stock reaction, it's pretty muted. The markets are up, but Lupin is flat. Yes, because what they have realized till now is only the $20 million which they have received as upfront payment. However, the rest of the uh, milestone payment they will receive over a period of time, and that could vary from uh, like uh, three to uh, seven years also, depending upon how well this uh, uh, product uh, does in the clinical trials. Mm. But is it standard to have a very low upfront payment? Uh, you know, it's just $20 million when the total size is $700 million. What does that signify? No, so see the uh, the stru structuring of these deals depends upon uh, how uh, uh, profitable the company uh, is uh, analyzing uh, what what kind of uh, whether they want to uh, monetize opportunity beforehand or they are ready to wait uh, for the product to go through a lot of clinical trials. So if you remember the first uh, uh, monetization which had happened in December 2018, they, it was only pre-clinical uh, 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 product. However, they had received $30 million upfront payment. So compared to that, obviously it is much lower because this is a phase two uh, uh, product. So are you optimistic on this particular partnership with Boringer? And you, would you change your EPS estimates in Lupin? Is this a reason good enough to look at Lupin? No, it's too early for us to uh, 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 put in into our numbers or the estimates because there are a lot of risk involved. Uh, this product can fail uh, uh, in phase 2B or phase 3. So it's uh, better to wait for uh, how it progresses uh, through various clinical trials. Mm. Am I broadly, uh, once the drug is in phase 2, what is the... Uh, what is what are the what, broadly average probability of uh, you know this getting to the commercialization stage? From phase two to phase three is the uh, most critical stage. Oh. Uh, so a lot of molecules drops from phase two to phase three. Right. Uh, once you are there in phase three, uh, the probability increases. Right. So what would what would the probability from two to three be? From phase two to phase three, would it be five percent, ten percent, would it be more? Uh, I believe it would be less than 40%. Less than 40%. Okay, fair enough. I think Sun is also a new streamer. Uh, yes. Am I, any thoughts on uh, Sun Pharma? We're getting conflicting reports, but the latest one seems that SEBI has ordered a forensic audit into the whistleblower allegations of in Sun Pharma. Your thoughts? So, uh, the news is obviously negative, but uh, there is no official comment coming in from the Sun Pharma. So better to wait for any clarity from the management side. Mm. So, I mean, in that uh, sense, if uh, when, when clients call you asking for advice on how to uh, proceed on Sun, what, what do you tell them? What's the, uh, what's the last standing advice on Sun? So as of now, we can take call on their operational performance and considering the uh, guidance they have given for the full year, we are very confident that they would be able to meet that top line guidance. And the margin improvement is also is likely to happen, uh, considering there is a ramp up happening in the specialty space. So we are bullish on the stock. Uh, the valuations are very much favorable, and uh, 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 so I believe uh, uh, this noise will uh, uh, go off over a period of time. Uh, it may not happen very immediately. Amay, thank you very much uh, for your time. So in Lupin, it appears to be a staggered call option. The stock is not excited today because the upfront payment received is quite minuscule at $20 million. On Sun Pharma, purely looking at the fundamentals, he finds the stock. Uh, he likes uh, the stock, but of course, we'll wait for the developments on what happens with the whistleblower allegations. Holding up for the market, uh, so still 